Hi, my name is Stedman Halliday and I'm a designer from Los Angeles. Today I'm going to teach you a quick shortcut for mentally visualizing hexadecimal triplets as the colors they represent. If you need more background on this topic, check out the first link in the description. Moving on, how do we visualize a salad of numbers and letters as a color anyway? The first thing to know is that digital colors are usually split into three channels, red, green, and blue. We call this color model RGB. The second thing to know is that RGB color is additive. That means mixing all three full channels together gives us pure white. In additive color, fuller channels move our color towards white, emptier ones move it towards black. The last thing to know is that the letters A through F are just extra digits after 9. The chart here shows their decimal values. Hexadecimal six extra digits let us squeeze over 15 million extra colors into the RGB space. Now we're ready to visualize our color. First, split the string into three groups corresponding to the three channels. Next, take the second digit of each group and use it to round up or down. Remember, since we're in hexadecimal, seven and lower round down. Rounding just improves our accuracy for this method. After rounding, the first digits in each group will tell you approximately how many sixteenths of red, green, and blue are in each respective channel. You can easily convert these fractions to percentages. Blue is the most dominant channel in our color, with red in second. Returning to the additive color diagram, full red and full blue channels mix to magenta. Our blue and red channels are only about 63% full on average. Remember that emptier channels move colors towards black. So instead of neon magenta, we'll probably get a moderately bright purple. To estimate the final color, we have to mix in our green channel. Remember that in additive color, fuller channels move color towards white. Mixing in our 25% full green channel will make our purple a bit brighter and less saturated. Let's check our work. Awesome. To learn more about how to work with color in the digital space, check out my full-length article in the description. Thanks for watching.